Also developing tonight, arrests in an overnight shooting in Hampton. We now know two of the suspects are just 16 years old. Shots rang out at a 7-Eleven on Kickatan Road last night. Police found a 20-year-old man inside hurt. An 18-year-old walked to a nearby hospital, shot as well. Both are expected to be okay. Tonight, 10 on your side's Aisha Tolliver learned this all started during a memorial for another shooting victim. Now neighbors say they heard about six or seven gunshots, but were too scared to get up and look out the window. Police are calling this a vigil gone wrong. 24-year-old DeAndre Bethay's mother is still searching for answers after her son was killed in an officer-involved shooting back in October of 2017. Police say they spotted a stolen truck and followed it to this 7-Eleven. Officers tried to approach the people inside the truck when they say someone pointed a gun at them. The officers fired shots in the process, hitting three people inside the truck. DeAndre was the only one who didn't make it. It's been a hard year for his mom, Kiana Bethay, who's still coping with the loss. Yesterday evening, she held a vigil in her son's honor at the same 7-Eleven where the fatal shots were fired. But an evening that was supposed to be about her son ended tragically with another shooting. Police say a group of people gathered at the store for the vigil when an argument started. The confrontation escalated into an exchange of gunfire, injuring two men. They are expected to be okay. But Bethay says she never saw anyone at the candlelight vigil argue. She says everyone from the vigil was pretty much gone by the time the shots were fired. She explained she was picking up trash from the memorial when she noticed three men go into the gas station. Shortly after, she heard shots fired and rushed to get into her car. Police charged the 20-year-old that was shot, Thaddeus Hayes, with weapons charges, and two 16-year-old boys are also facing charges. But they say she doesn't know any of them. Now, workers here at the 7-Eleven say their window was shot out during the shooting, but they've already replaced it. In Hampton, I'm Aisha Tolliver, 10 on your side.